Hey guys, it's ZD here and I am super excited to be going over something that I know will absolutely transform your business in the coaching space. You know, I can tell you right now, this stuff that I'm about to go over is so different to what I know you've learned before in this industry. Because think about it, so many coaches in this industry are just telling you simple things. We just need to get a structure set up. You know, we just need to get your profitable niche happening. We just need to get a marketing strategy and then we just need to go out in the market and then we're going to sell. But how many times are you just going to keep buying into the same exact stuff that everyone else is regurgitating? Let me tell you right now how I've been able to generate multi-million dollars in this business space and not just that, helped many others do some similar results in the way of making their first 100K, making their first 100K mark. I've had so many success stories in this space and I can tell you it's not because they're so good at sales. It's not because they're great marketers. It's not because of any of those things. It comes back to what I'm about to talk about today with these two things. What does MP and MP actually stand for? It means metaphysical. Metaphysical world and physical world. This is what the game is all about. What I, I remember I was just on a webinar just before this video and I remember I saw these people on there and they're like, I just don't understand this metaphysical and physical world stuff. And I said, imagine a brain right now, a brain. And I opened up your brain. I can see it in the physical world, right? But where are the thoughts? Imagine saying to a surgeon, where are the thoughts? Can you actually see the thoughts that come? Because they stem from a different place. They stem from the metaphysical world. And that metaphysical world is the governing system to this physical world. Every single thing that you see in this physical world started once in the metaphysical. This phone right now started from Steve Jobs' metaphysical. He operated from a certain frequency. And there was a certain wave on that frequency and it came through him, whether it was in a dream, whether it was in a creative state, whether it was in the right brainwave. They said, oh, I'm going to create this iPhone. And he created it. And do you know what? He built it into the physical world. This board right now that you're seeing this on, this started first in someone's mind. And then it came into the reality. You know, there's an old quote. I can't remember what song it was, but Michael Jackson. You know, Michael, Michael Jackson, I can't remember what song it was, but I remember he went, I read this story at 3 a.m. He went to his manager and he says, I've got to write this song. And then the manager's like, what's well, 3 a.m.? We'll write it in the morning. He said, no, if we don't do it now, Prince will write it. Because they were tapping into the same frequency. How many times in life have you ever had a thought, you ever had an idea, and you didn't action that idea, and then later on, two weeks later, a month later, five weeks later, five months later, someone else is doing your idea. It's not because they're smarter than you. They tapped into the same field of energy. We all have this ability to tap into and make so much money. I always tell people, you guys can make so much money in this coaching space if you understand the game. If you understand that there are certain laws to this universe. And when you start playing by those laws, you can start winning the game of life. Wouldn't you rather know the rules before you start playing them? Like imagine right now if I didn't know the rules to driving a car. I get in my car... I don't even know how to start it, but let's just say I don't know the rules between the middle line the middle line in the middle of the road. I don't know what the red light means. I don't know what the green light means, but when it goes around, I just drive through. I'm going to crash. I'm going to make mistakes. I'm going to drive through people's houses. I'm going to, it's going to be everywhere. I won't even know how to turn. Do I turn right? How do I get past this, this cross section? You wouldn't know because you don't know the rules. But once you know the rules... You can start playing this game in a completely different way. I'm giving you right now the rules to the game. And I hope when you take this knowledge that I have, that I've literally studied, researched, tested in my own life, tested in my own practices, that I know this is going to change your life as well. There are certain laws to this universe. There are certain laws. Look at laws like they're rules. Just like Mario Kart. I'm not sure if you've ever played Mario Kart before, but when you play Mario Kart... When you're going, you're playing. It's already got a governing rule set in that game. Just like any game that you play, there's a governing rule set. But if I'm playing Mario Kart and I'm driving Mario Kart and I go over a banana, what happens to my cart? Well, my cart starts to slide. Can I? The question is, can I go over a banana in Mario Kart and not slide? The answer is no. Why? Because it's part of the rule set. There's a governing rule set 
in that game that says every single time it's programmed into the game, every single time you go over a banana, you are going to slide. So how does that relate to right now? Well, there are certain laws to this universe, governing laws. Like right now I'm on uh, in the hotel we're in, I think we're on a certain floor number. If I jump off the balcony, I'm just going to jump because I believe I can fly. Can I fly in this universe? No, because it's not part of the rule set. I can't in the physical world. And I'm looking at it from the physical world. I can't in the physical world. Well, I'll explain you in the metaphysical in a second. But if I can't fly in the physical world, because there's a governing law, there's a governing rule set, law of gravity. If I jump off the building, I'm going to go towards the earth. I'm going to go towards the ground. Why? Because it's a law. It's a rule set. I can't fly. I can't float because it's not part of the game rule set. But there's also another law, the law of vibration. And the law of vibration is everything in this universe is moving right now. Everything. We are all matter, physical, perceived, solid, but we're not solid. We are energy. I am energy right now vibrating so incredibly fast, just like a fan. If a fan's going so quick, can I put my finger through it? There's probably gaps in it. I can put my finger through it, but it's perceived I can't. It'll hit the thing, just like right now. I can't get through. It hits the thing. But I'm telling you, because energy is moving so fast. But I'm telling you, everything that you want is on a frequency. Everything you want out there is energy. It's not matter. It's perceived as matter. The car you want is perceived to be solid, but it's not. It's energy. The house you want is perceived to be solid. It's energy. So what does that mean? I just need to be, because I'm energy, I need to raise myself up out of this physical world and I need to start understanding this is where the game is played. Because the secondary law of the universe is what we call the law of attraction. And if it's a rule set, and whatever I think about over and over again for a period of time will have to come true, doesn't it beg the question, why am I not visualizing what I want every day? Why am I not going into that, phys that metaphysical world and start creating the life that I want? Because when you operate from this place, look at the metaphysical world as a fast vibrational reality. It's an instantaneous reality. They're not the same rules to the physical world. I can't fly in the physical world. But if I close my eyes in the metaphysical, I can pretend I'm flying over a mountain. You can be wherever you want to be at any given moment. You, I, if I'm right now in Australia, but I want to be in Hawaii, I can literally float instantaneously in Hawaii. And I'm on a Hawaii beach inside my mind. And because I'm feeling it, my brain and body doesn't know the difference between what, what I imagine and what I experience. So that's why if you start telling yourself, I am broke, I'm struggling all the time, and you literally bathe yourselves in scarcity, the only thing that you're going to get in the physical world is more scarcity because you're bathing yourselves in it. But if I can start living in abundance, if I can start living in prosperity and happiness and joy, and I can start holding that for a period of time, what will start to take place in the physical world is your reality will start changing. I always say, look at life like it's a mirror of your previous thinking. Everything you see, there's a mirror out there. What you see in your reality is a mirror. And everything that you see is your previous thinking. If your life's not going the way you want it, it's because of your thoughts. If your relationship's not going well, it's because of your thinking. So if you understand that mirror is literally showing you back two fingers like this. This is what it's giving you back. And you're like this. All right, I need to start thinking positive, Zach. So I tell someone, I need you to start meditating and visualizing and tapping into this world. Because when you start breathing into your heart, you'll, your brain waves will slow down. You'll start becoming more radiant. You'll start becoming more energy than matter, solid surfaces. And when you start becoming more radiant, you operate from a different reality. You're not limited by what you see with your eyes. You're operating from a higher level of vibration. So that same thought that I can't manifest more money isn't there because you're operating from a higher frequency. If you come to one of my events where I actually explain the 17 levels of consciousness and I walk you through each level, you'll literally be mind blown by that. But I actually make you understand that different level of consciousness you operate from you completely see a new reality. You take completely different actions. Like you right, right now might be thinking, business is so hard, but from a higher level of consciousness and you train yourself to be in that level, you'll start thinking business is actually pretty easy. You'll start completely changing your outlook. And we all have each level inside of us. We just don't activate each level. 
But if you want to know more about that, come to one of my events. My next one's you know, coming up in the next couple of months. Send me a message. Come to it. Even if you just learn that, you'll make money. Because operating from a different level of consciousness isn't learning from the same level of consciousness. It's like what Einstein says. One of Einstein's quotes, I love this quote, we cannot solve the problem in the same level of thinking that created it. What does that mean? He means the same level of consciousness. If you're operating from this victim mentality, you're in depression, you can't see a way out of depression because you're in it. You have to operate from a higher frequency, raise your energy, breathe into your heart, start feeling a different energy. Realize that you're out of your body, not in it. You become more energy than you are matter and straight away what will start taking place in the physical world, you'll start seeing things differently. You'll start showing up completely differently. You'll be able to solve the issue differently. But guys, coming back, if we have a mirror out there that is explaining that, what do we need to do? Well, we need to understand that between the metaphysical world and the physical world, it doesn't happen straight away. So if I go into my mind right now and I start visualizing what I want, am I going to open up my eyes and I'm visualizing money, so is money going to be there? No. Why? Because there's a time delay. And this is what the Law of Attraction documentary didn't tell you. This is what people that learn about manifestation don't tell you because they don't probably understand it. But we have a time delay. Everything you're seeing right now is previous thinking, past thinking, that you were thinking six to eight weeks ago. What we prove right now, and what I've done in my own studies as well, is mean six, it takes six to eight weeks to start seeing changes. Like if you went to a personal trainer, and I went to a gym and a personal trainer, I'd be very surprised within six to eight weeks if I didn't get results. But I wouldn't be expecting results after one week, right? But it's the same thing with this. If we want to change our finances, if we want to change our coaching business, we need to start placing what is the reality we want and realize the governing factor of my broke bank account or my struggling business is whatever it is right now, that's the old reality. It's my previous thinking. I'm in the new reality. So even when I open up my eyes out of the meditation, I'm not going to get phased by my bank account going down. I'm not going to get phased by my clients aren't coming through. I'm not going to get phased by things in the physical world. But what I, am I going to do? I'm just still going to hold that smile because my inner reality creates my outer reality over time. So I'm going to realize that this is, right now what I see is my previous thinking. I'm going to hold the image in my mind. And I'm going to wait for what we call the quantum to Newtonian transition point. Quantum means metaphysical, to Newtonian means physical. And there's a quantum to Newtonian transition point that happens. That's what we call the time delay. So what happens is if over a period of time, if I smile, and after a week I'm smiling to the physical world, uh, physical world and it's still showing me this, I'm not going to get dictated by that mirror. I'm not going to react to the mirror. I'm going to realize I am the creator of the mirror. I am the creator of the mirror. So what I'm doing is after one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, and it's back to me. It's responding back exactly what I wanted it to. That's why I say, give me six to eight weeks of your freaking time and I will turn your business around. I'm so certain on this because I know the method works. I've tested it out with 400 plus people. And people say, oh, you've worked with over 2,000 people and 400 of them got results, but I'm like, most of them would have got results, but I just haven't got the testimonial. So I would be a lot more testimonials, but I'm like, these are the people that I've got testimonials from. And I'm telling you, it freaking works. I was on a webinar the other day. Every single person on that webinar commented, because I'm saying, you've got to do this thing, I, my, my method that I always teach. And they said they've been doing my method, because I didn't think they'd been doing my method from two months ago. And they said their whole business has changed. They're getting more sales, more clients than they ever have before. Guess what? I didn't teach them strategy. I didn't teach them marketing because that's freaking easy. But what I taught them was understanding that the outer world follows the inner world. If you can't get to that level of awareness, turn this off now. Because I can tell you right now, if you want your life to change, like freaking think about this. How did I turn my finances around? Think about it. I was broke. I didn't have any money. The only thing that I changed was not, I got so good at sales. No, that wasn't it. I changed me. And how I changed me was understanding that this principle is the number one principle that every single human on this earth needs to understand. Think about it. The CIA in 1983 released a declassified document. They did a test on this stuff. And it's what they called patenting. 
It was what they called patenting. They did a process where they got together and they started putting intention on what they wanted. And they proved if enough people put intention on what they wanted, they could create changes in this physical world. Why would the CIA declassify that? But they're not telling everyone to do it. They're not telling everyone. The, the document's out there, but they're not telling people to look it up. Look it up. It's called the gateway process. Look it up. It's insane. I'm saying to you now, if you want a different life, you need to work with someone that understands how the game works. Because if you keep running the same pattern, being the same person, and thinking magically that your life and results are going to change, it's delusional. It's delusional thinking. I spent so long trying to learn. Like I just want to learn the, the money stuff and the sales and the marketing and everything. But I'm like, that's easy. I always say I can teach anyone marketing, sales in 30 minutes. But what I can't teach in 30 minutes is this. I can only give you a little delve into it, but some of the stuff that I do with my clients is so much more deeper. Or I go over on the day two of my event coming up, I go over in such detail, metaphysics made simple. And I break it down from everything that I've learned from the highest level people. And I brought it into my own practices and learn it myself. And this is what I absolutely love. I'll be teaching this in 20, 30 years because I'm that obsessed with it because I know it's the difference between you staying broke or you literally making your first million dollars. You know, when I made my first million that I ever made when I was, what was it, 26 years old, I knew about this. This is what changed it. It wasn't my sales. It wasn't me being so good at coaching or whatever. You know, those are assets and they're great. It was because I understood how to play the game and I did it without spending a cent on advertising. Now I have an amazing team working with me and everything and my business traveling. I can do whatever I pretty much want financially right now. And it's because of this and I want to help you as well. So guys, if you're interested, and I can promise you, you will literally be mind blown by this event coming up. Or if you want to work with me personally, send me a message. I love helping people transform. You're just going to be another testimonial. Why do I know that? Because I understand this. I understand this, and when you understand this at a deep level, the whole business will change. Guys, that's my message to you. Have an incredible day. I absolutely love doing these videos for you guys. If you need anything, please reach out. But guys, jump me a message. Send me a message. It's on early bird price right now. You don't want to miss out on it. I'll talk to you all very, very soon.